Alright, my Dudorinos, it's time to start the next mission. Let's just dive right in. Did I get any gear that I need to infuse? No? Okay. So far, it's just been assembling the fire team. <laughs> That's what the first four missions has been. Actually, the first mission was getting inside. So which one of us gets to play commander till we find Zavala? I'd have liked to see you try, but the Guardian will take point. Wait, Lickstein? Oh, how Salvation's here, shit. Hey, fucking assholes. You know what? You guys piss me off. Alright, so I see a splinter here. They really believe this much in the witness's plan? The witness is offering them exactly what they want. An end to suffering. That seal is pyramid technology. The witnesses' forces are likely nearby. Let's see if we can get the jump on them. Maybe they have a key. Lift touched. What does that mean? Oh, excuse me. Hey, what the fuck? Supposed to do a grapple melee, asshole. Excuse me, right? Cliffs have been revealed by the warder's defeat. Okay. I don't know what this. The warder's glitch has been nullified. Okay, so let's see what this is. We've seen these before. On the moon, Europa, the Black Garden. It shouldn't be here. Not to change the subject, but I finally got a Vanguard signal. You're welcome. Zavala needs to be our priority. Pass the telemetry through. Also, who was crying? Shit. 
I'm glad Radiant works with the, um, grapple grenade, by the way. Where's the resonant mortar? Fuck. I can't- the game fucked me over there. What the fuck, man? Same glyph again, it looks like. I'm glad we're actually getting multiple types of enemies in the campaign, not just one group. So we've gotten Shadow Cabal second mission, Taken and Dread first mission, Hive last mission, Elixni. We're just missing the Vex now, I think. Vex and Scorn, Vex and Scorn. Vex and Scorn, always the forgotten stepchild. Go to the correct glyph. In the doorway, whatever the fuck this is. Oh my god. The traveler used its light to terraform planets, to seed life, while the witness uses it to reshape this world in its own image. Hey, did Zavala have anything nice to say about me at my funeral? He always gave the best eulogies. No, not a word. Seriously? He wasn't there. Wouldn't come out of his office. Uh, I get it. Sometimes grief's a uh, locked door. Oh, it's no grief. grief. Shame. Oh shit. Did you teleport? Salvation again, right on top of us. Go get him.
Oh, okay, I need to really understand the. I've been. It's been so long since I've used that melee. I need to understand how that works a little bit better. We're gonna do a little thing here. Excuse me, asshole. Not gonna lie, I mean, I'm okay with the changes to Galhorn's look, but I can, with the, uh, Ooh. It's a lot of traps all of a sudden. Excuse fucking assholes. Get rid of all these trip mines because they're going to be kind of annoying if I don't. Wait, which side is that one? Oh, so I guess I have to get two, uh, cliff things. Ah, damn it. Okay. Like I said, I need to get used to the thing. Then that one, whatever that one is. Cliffs have been revealed by the warden's defeat.
What? How did that not hit him? Okay, I don't understand. This melee. Oh, another prismatic reward. Cool. <gasps> oh, cool. We didn't get the... Okay. A desire for, like... Okay. Um... Long press while airborne. So... You know what? I want to try it out. Uh, it's another one of these. Mm. Let us lift the weight of suffering from his shoulders. Nothing to give. Oh, God, yeah, grapes, no, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, why is this so much taller than me? safe. It's the first time we're hearing Tarja's voice, holy shit. Guardian, do you read us? I'm en route. Give Tarj all the help you can. Yo, what the fuck is that? Is it their house? This is probably their... This is where he lived with his wife and son, isn't it? We were defending it from the fallen. The witness wants to wear him down to nothing, but he's still standing strong. To stubborn a retreat. Hi. The fallen will not defile my family's memory. Guardian, honor them with me. Defend my homestead. Not gonna lie, I don't... Keith David, I think character-wise, he's maybe getting it. Keith David's not a bad voice actor, I'm just, I'm not sure about all this right now.
Oh, cool, because I have the arc aspect equipped. It's, um... Hey, hey! Oh no, this is going to be pain, probably painful in uh, Legendary mode. Fight it. The pillar shield is broke. Okay. Okay, it hit one of them. I was say, that's all I can ask for. Oh, that's right, I can't. I don't dodge slow anymore. I just... This is probably the... Prismatic is probably the one build I will need strength on. I technically become invisible from using a uh, tangle as well. What the fuck? Ah, uh, you're floating. Why are you floating, sir? to think I'd give anything to bring you back but 
But when the witness offered me an eternity here with you, with our son, I know you understand why I refused. There are people who still need me. Soon. Safi. I'm sorry. up commander it's a lie the witness shows us what it thinks we want and what has the traveler shown me we should go <laughs> and the drink. Don't know what that drink is, though. Looks like it could either taste really bad or really good. Punch. Yeah, me too, big guy. <sighs> me too. The way his right arm was going, I thought he was about to punch him. <clears throat> I we lost her when her ship went down. But she's tougher than that. She soldiered on. She. Losing Amanda was like losing you all over again. I'm done burying my friends. Life isn't about holding on forever. I mean, I was gone, mourned at peace, and now I'm here. Opening old wounds, filling them with salt. Eventually, you have to let go.
Yeah. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be an emotional campaign for me because it's a lot about a lot of it's about loss. But persevere, I guess. <gasps> yes. I need to do some infusion. Uh, well, let me do the infusions after, like when I'm between episodes. Uh, let, let's do this lore bit for a sec. Because now we got another lore page. Would that I had more text from the Philosophers of Rees. But time in, is limited in the frenzy of an evacuation, and so too is space. Data itself is not like negligible. And the first to go was that without practica practical value, or should I say immediate practical value. Art and philosophy are vital to a culture, to a people. Their losses are always keenly felt. But in immediacy, art cannot distill ether, and philosophy cannot propel a ship. Such is the required brutal practicality of preserving a people. But something has occurred to me, and I am putting out a request in my capacity as scribe to gather information from any elixir who may be capable of answering. For every brutal, brutal practicality, there is a tender sentiment that arises in exchange. The new sprout beside that the cold stalk. There is always something that someone cannot bear to part with. The point, the thing that I have lingered on. We human and our elixir and we elixir and our human compatriots have a view of the light that is built on different foundations, and it has resulted in such similar concepts as to be difficult to to distinguish. In retrospect, I think perhaps there have been hints, but there is always something else requiring attention. The pursuit of relics, the safety of house light. The imminent apocalypse brought upon us by the pyramid fleet and the witness. Now, as those who cannot for forge forward wait and hope, I turn to philosophy. This is what I have been pondering. It seems that the human view of light is based on the creation of something from nothing. While the elixir view of light is based on the transformation of one thing into a different thing, the two overlap more frequently than not. Take, for instance, Mars. Did the Traveler itself create the oxygen humans need to breathe, or did it come transform carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as it was? Does the difference ultimately matter? An additional thought. The idea of the Traveler as gardener seems to have gained traction among the humans as humans of the tower and of the city. It is of interest to those who have read the unveiling texts especially. Which, yeah, we know that. Gardening isn't its own way transformative a garden a gardener four hands in rich earth coaxes something forward that had once only existed as a possibility the seed given the right resources becomes a tree with the core of the seed remaining at the heart of the new growth i find the image particularly compelling the elixir of reese thought of the traveler as a great machine and while it gave them gardens that that most vital thing it did was to allow ether to flow like water free and plentiful Ether, we know, does not come from nothing. The machine takes that which it is given and makes it a, makes of it something else. Servitors still do this to today. They require something from which to create ether. We know this intimately, inescapably. I think neither of us is right. I think neither of us is wrong. I think as we walk into the future together, it is beyond vital to preserve the many facets of light seen through our many eyes. Machine and gardener and traveler and all. Excerpt from one of the many journals of Ido, Scribe of House Light. Okay, there's going to be a cutscene thing here. No cutscene thing? Let's talk to Ghost. I want to get the next mission Coming prepared. Together was hard for everyone. I thought it would feel right having the Vanguard back together, but... Tarj told me that Zavala had forgiven himself for what happened to his family. But the witness made him relive losing them. And it showed him what it would be like to have them back. It must have taken everything for the commander to refuse that offer. Mykora has concerns about his mental state. She's going to check in with him while the rest of us push closer to the witness's monolith. Time to do some trailblazing, Guardian. From now, okay. 
emotionally compromised. You, the commander will meet your fire team ahead. From for now, a mountain erected from the memory of old Russia stands between you and the witnesses monolith. Ascend. Okay, and I guess they're just talking over here. Let's tune in. Kid, you out there? Look, you could ignore me if you want. I would, but you should know I'll hold it against you. Ah, come on, Zavala's supposed to be the strong, silent one. You're supposed to be, I don't know, I haven't figured you out yet, now that I think about it. What do you want, Cade? I want to talk about Amanda. Yeah, sure, she was a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, but she was also the biggest pain in the ass I'd ever met. A gremlin of a kid, she tore the engine out of my sparrow when she was 12. I was furious. Almost got her booted out of the tower until I noticed she disconnected everything clean. She'd been stealing. Tools, manuals, whatever she could get her hands on. She practiced on scrap jump ships and junk sparrows. <laughs> that says something about my ride. Why, oh, she was brilliant. I told Zavala, got her a job in the hangar, and I watched her grow up. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize, dummy. Just listen to what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Amanda lived a damn good life exactly the way she wanted to. I'm sorry. She went out being a hero. We don't all get to do that. Some of us make stupid choices and die stupid deaths. Will you at least let me be sorry about that? Shut up. Life ain't about drawing out the living part. It's about making what you do while you're alive. I'm sorry. So grow a spine and make her proud. 